Number 10. Andre works at a toy store. He ordered 600 fidget toys. He put 180 fidget toys in bags for online orders. The rest he separated equally into two baskets to put by each register. Which equation can be used to find F, the number of fidget toys in each basket? So before I can do anything else, I kind of need to take all of the information that they've given me and I need to think about, well, what's happening in the story? So I'm going to draw a picture because sometimes a picture will help me think about what actions need to be used. So I'm wanting to know the number of fidget toys in each basket. So I'm going to start with that. Blank fidget toys are in each basket. Okay? And so here's what I know. He started with 600 fidget toys. So I'm going to draw that first. He's going to put 180 fidget toys in bags for online orders. So he's going to basically take this part right here, we're going to call this the 180 amount, and he's removing them. So I want you to think about what happens when you remove 180 of something. That's right, you're going to probably be subtracting that. Okay. So I'm thinking to myself, you're going to start with us with 600 and you're taking these 180 away. That's going to need to happen first. So whether it happens first in when we start with it or whether we put it in parentheses. Okay. It says he separated equal the rest equally into two baskets. So there's two words that stand out here. The word separated, because anytime we separate something, it's like we're dividing it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my division symbol there. And equally confirms it, because we want equal groups. So anytime we're talking about equal groups, we want to think about um, dividing. All right. And so we're going to take what's left over and we're going to divide that by 2. All right. So now I have to go back and look at my, my answer choices. So when I look at these answer choices, just a quick skim, I see that we have 600 minus 180, which looks to be like what we wrote down here. And then I see divide by 2. But the problem is it should be in parentheses. Because if it's not in parentheses, then technically you should be dividing 180 by 2. And we don't want to do that. So this answer is not correct because it doesn't have the parentheses in the correct place. When I look at B, 600 minus 180, that looks like what we decided. And we're going to divide that by 2. That's what we decided. So B is actually looking like a great choice. When I look over here, I have the right actions but with the wrong numbers. So this is not what we're wanting. We do not want to take a 600 and divide it by 180. And then finally, the first thing that stands out to me is we're not going to be multiplying that number by 2. We're going to be dividing it. So we definitely want to get rid of B. So the correct equation that we would want to pick would be B. And just simply thinking about your picture and what actions are happening with that picture will help you decide on the best equation to pick in the future.